Hey folks, it's uh, Scott with Grego's Gardening. And I wanted to give you a quick update. My potatoes, at least some of them, some of the ones that I, I put into containers the earliest, um, because I am having to add additional soil now. And, and my early pots, my early containers have certainly all emerged. And what I'm doing now, it's Today is February 24th, it's a Friday. I need to get some of this foliage covered back up and buried, and I'm gonna put another, you know, six inches of, of soil in, in my containers and uh, get it watered in real good. But once I get foliage to merge up again, I'll put straw on the top as a, as a mulch. So let me turn the camera around and show you exactly what I've got going on here. So these were my earliest buckets of, of potatoes. These here were some red Norland, or are red Norland. They're not quite high enough. I'd like them to get like this one where it's come up over the top. So I'll probably put some additional soil, probably another four inches or so in there. Here, this one is not quite ready as well. These red Norland, for whatever reason, have been real slow. They're, they're coming, they're emerging, they're starting, uh, but they've been real slow. On the other hand, the Corolla that I planted here in all of these containers, good Lord, you can look at how high, you know, that's, that's already seven or eight inches, maybe more of, of growth. I mean, they have just gone bonkers gangbusters and you can again you can see here in this grow bag um how how tall it is and so there's you know there's already eight or nine inches of soil down in there and i'm gonna have to fill it and i've already started filling this one up i gotta get a little bit more in there so i'm gonna fill this one and this one and these for sure um, this clearly is not ready yet to have anything put on it. This can wait, even though it's got one that's getting a little bit taller. I'm probably going to go ahead and put a little, if I have some soil left over, I'll put it on that or I'll wait until these other two, because they're, they're going to grow fast. They'll shoot up really quick now. And again, all I did was prepare some more of my, uh, my soil mix. And what I'm doing this year, it's one third potting soil, uh, one third peat and one-third compost and then I put some worm castings in there and I put some organic uh, bone meal in there and just a sprinkle of blood meal so let me see how much I can get taken care of with this bucket of, of dirt and we'll go from there and real quick, just to, to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about doing here. Sorry, it's not the greatest camera work, but I, the only reason I like these blue containers is because they're, they have lines. And so, you know, you can get an idea, you know, how deep that, that soil is here by looking. It's, it's certainly up to about right here, uh, which is every bit of, 10 inches, maybe a little bit more. And so what I ideally would like to get in here is soil up to this level here. I don't want to fill it all the way. I don't want to fill it all the way up here. That's too much soil, but I'd like to get it up here. And then once, once this grows up, I'll fill the rest of this. I'll put another layer, a couple inches thick of straw and, and that will help to insulate it, help keep moisture. Um, but these Corolla, they are just going crazy. And I, yeah, I've, I've never experienced a potato grow like these are growing. This is just un, unbelievable. I was hoping that I'd be able to move these uh, into the backyard already, but I still need probably another week, maybe two weeks before the sun will be right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill them. I'd rather get them filled. I've got a dolly, a, a, a thing that I can move the, the heavy tubs with and uh, get them relocated because spring is definitely sprung. I know the northern half of the country is in a blizzard and freezing to death and we're 80 plus degrees and sweating 
down here this last weekend of February. So anyways, like I said, I'll come back and show you the finished product um, once I'm done, once I get it all filled up and we'll wrap it up. All right, so I finished it up here and then watered it in a little bit. You know, you can never water these grow bags enough. Everything will just drain right out of there. But all my plastic five gallon buckets, these bigger, I think these are like 17 gallon totes, 15, 17 gallon totes. You know, I've got a bunch of basically half inch holes drilled in the bottom of them. As you can see, I filled it up. You can see the difference, how, how high I filled it up relative to what will still happen here in this in this bucket of Norland Red. So these are Corollas here that have just, like I said, and, and these, you know, I realize I could have maybe even put a little bit more in there, but I, I'm not gonna cover them that deep. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put another, you know, two inches of straw in there and then maybe have to add straw one more time because I still want a lip uh, on on these it just helps for watering and, and all that kind of stuff I did put some here in this one five gallon bucket that I had I went on ahead and filled it up and here is one of my my really big buckets this is also a tub of Corolla that I had you know these aren't buckets these are these are my big giant feed tubs you can get an idea Sorry, I got a mess here. I got to pick up my old egg carton that I had seed potato sitting in. These are like 27 gallon. And so I will, you know, this is still, just to give you some perspective, I guess I can use this. You know, you can still see how much room, you know, there's every bit of, of another 10 inches in there. And so I will probably put one more once these grow up and get, you know, about six inches tall above the current soil line. Um, I'll put in one more layer of dirt, another three or four inches, and then let them grow up again, and then top those off with straw as well. But, uh, you know, they're, I, everything that I've gotten in already is, those are Norland Red, Norland Red, and that's what I use to kind of help mix my batches of soil. Norland Red, these three old, blue tubs here are Baltic Rose and I was concerned about them not coming up and I just noticed as I started watering they're just now breaking breaking the, but these got planted a lot later and then I've got a big container here and a five gallon bucket there and uh, they have oh good grief talk about going brain dead oh they have that there was a we had a bag of store potatoes that had chitted that had like seven or eight store potatoes i seven yeah because i put five of them in here and i put two of them in there i think they're some kind of a you know like a yukon gold uh but we'll i just did that the other day so there those won't be anywhere near being ready so anyways big fun big fun big fun um so i'm excited that these are are just now starting to poke out. I was not getting too concerned or nervous, but just a little bit. So anyways, somebody is ready for me to play with him. Aren't you, bud? Yeah. Who's a good boy? Is Cosmo a good boy? That little nub wagon? Hey, who's a good boy? Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Are we gonna go play? <laughs> oh yeah. Anyways, folks, like I said, just quick, wanted to show you kind of some of the 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 less exciting part of of growing your potatoes out to me it's it's exciting to see the growth come up and and all of that stuff and know that you put in viable seed potatoes and and you're getting growth and and all of that kind of stuff but this is just kind of the the early maintenance that that has to be done some people certainly will fill their containers up all the way and there are a lot of people who do that and I, and I did that mostly last year but this year I said I was going to follow the advice of Wood Prairie Family Farms said they were doing uh, or, or what their instructions were as far as I hate to use the word hilling but because really all I'm doing is just adding more soil to make sure what I'm trying to make sure of is that if 
if I do get a tuber up high, that I'm still gonna have soil covering it so it doesn't get sunlight and, and get ruined then. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. All right, y'all have a great weekend. Get out in the garden, have fun, and uh, good luck with your growing. Bye-bye. Ah,